Welcome to a life of pain with a super foggy lens. I apologize for that. Apparently like turbo cold in the room and not that out here. We're in Galveston again. We got away from the kids for a night and now we're going to, I don't know what we're gonna do, hang around Galveston. Uh, we've done Galveston videos with you guys before. Uh, this one will probably just stay inside the city, so stay tuned. We actually went fishing last night. We didn't show you guys any of that because it wasn't very successful. There wasn't a whole lot to, uh, to see. I'm not quite sure what we're gonna get into today. We're probably gonna go down to the Strand, which is a nice little downtown district in uh, in downtown Galveston, and uh, take you guys along for the ride. Then we gotta go pick the kiddos up. We got some more stuff planned for this evening, so let's get our uh, day started. Notice what I'm wearing. I was wearing this last night, fishing at uh, midnight, and now I'm still wearing it again today, even after a shower. Anna, do you wanna tell them why? Well, I kind of forgot to pack him clothes. <laughs> she packs herself four outfits. I get a pair of underwear and... A pair of underwear. That was it. She packed one pair of underwear and a t-shirt that's torn. Which you wear to sleep, and I packed you two underwear, not one. <laughs> okay. So now I'm going to go get a shirt. So be right back uh, in a clean new shirt mm. better what do you think all right now that I'm not feeling like a homeless man um, <laughs> let's, let's get our day started let's head over to the strand okay we made it to the strand a bunch of touristy shops but we're gonna check them out anyway see what kind of fun stuff they have This is so freaking adorable. No. Yes. People are using this. They put vinyl on it. And then they put, uh, with the Sharpie, they color it in. And then so once, when, when it looks like this is normal, and then when you flip it, it's just someone's name on it. How neato is that? Mm, not convinced. I don't know if we ever told you guys this. Uh, when Anna was pregnant, we actually came up with Landon on something very similar to. We actually picked his name out on a. It was actually a kid's cup, like a sippy cup. Yeah, but we were on Murdoch's in Galveston, coincidentally, and we're like, what do we name the baby? Yeah. And we just re went through. And we landed on Landon, but my thought was. I needed him to have a good UFC name, but my last name is Payne, and if he's gonna be an MMA fighter, you can do a lot of cool stuff with that. So I thought Landon Payne would sound pretty good, but we actually found his name on one of these keyboards, keychains, on a cup, a mug. Yep. Yeah, Landon. Landon. These are fancy. John Lennon looking nice. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, no. Aren't these cool? It's gonna be a no for me. <laughs> Didn't mean for that to happen. Freaking hilarious, let's see. Probably just goes on to your ears, yeah. huh? Mm, no, it's kind of a fail. Yeah, it's a fail. Or does it go um, oh, look, like this? <laughs> <laughs> Have to go above your nose, knucklehead. I think so too. Okay, we found some more sorcery. Watch this. It's not mechanical, no batteries whatsoever. I don't know if I want something like that in the house. Okay, we're back, but we got a lot of stuff to do. Uh, you, what are you doing? 
Finishing my mats. She has to finish her mats. It's the baby's party Sunday. I'm tasked with doing the salsa. I'm gonna put them on the pit. I'm gonna bring you guys uh, along for the ride. to change clothes the mosquitoes were awful all my vegetables are here they're gonna go on here hopefully this comes out to some delicious salsa hopefully it comes out all right all right it's been on for probably uh, i don't know 10 minutes it's just uh it's one of those delicate things, cooking vegetables on a grill. So, looks like it's probably getting some color. What we want. All right, let's take a look at the tomatoes. Giving some nice color. They're softening up. Once they get soft, we'll pull them off and uh, blend them up with the rest of the chaos on the grill. And then I get on with my evening because this has been stressful. There's been a lot of behind the scenes things you guys haven't seen. The baby's crawling over here, climbing on this, climbing on that. Anna's trying to do her projects. I'm trying to do this one. Uh, that's a life of pain for you. So we're going to get this wrapped up. Hopefully it'll all go down as planned. Okay, I'm back. Um, a lot of time has transpired since the last time we spoke. The night just really got ahead of us, so Anna's doing her projects, and I'm finally gonna finish the salsa. It's like nine o'clock at night. It was like six when I talked to you guys last. So we're gonna finish the salsa. We'll be done with tonight's episode. Let's get this started. Ah, uh, I totally left the garlic on there this whole time. I don't know what it looked like, but I bet it's freaking awesome. Or awful. If this comes out on camera. Oh, that smells so good. Bad. Oh, that smells good. All right, bear with me. We're almost done. I left this mess covered. Onions, the tomatoes. I haven't touched peppers yet, uh, but let's get these tomatoes in here. I'm gonna leave a little tomatoes on the reserve because I tend to make these brutally hot and I'm, I'm gonna need a few to dilute it. Onions are going in, tiny ones. Okay, a hack I learned with peppers. Anytime you wanna grill a pepper, you gotta steam it right afterward. Comes out all limp looking, which is cool. So we can just cut it. We can just peel the back. So the skin's gone and it's just a fleshy pulp Smoke, charred, give it a rough chop, put the pavanos in, and we'll do the same thing with the uh, serrano. The skin just peels away, leaving the fleshy pulp, which is delicious, and that's all we want. Why is this turned into a cooking show right now? Babe, <laughs> are you hearing this? Does this not sound like the worst cooking show you've ever listened to? No, I think I've heard worse. Remember that series? The next Food Network star? Yep, I remember that. Uh, the Abadero. Again, we smoked it. The flesh is left behind. And you just peel it right off. And it's delicious. I'm gonna get the rest of these peppers hooked up. We'll process it, taste it, and be done with tonight. Okay, we have everything in. We're ready to grind it up and go to bed. It's been one of those nights. It's been chaotic, but we're gonna continue on and hopefully make some baller salsa. It's spicy, but it's good. 
smoky flavor, salsa, done. Anna. Oh my god, my face is on fire. But it was good fire or bad fire? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> is there such a thing? I can't feel my lips. Um, I don't know. It tastes good, it just, oh my god. <laughs> so I'll do one more batch of this before the party. We're gonna sign out here for you guys. It's been one of those days where it was tough getting through it, but we did. We got through it together as a family. Anna still got, Anna still has her projects she's gotta do, but I'm gonna sign out here with you guys. Stay tuned, I can't wait to talk to you guys again. Thanks for watching A Life of Pain. Go back.